welcome to another episode of Man Club. Today we're going to do some maintenance on uh, one of my wife's favorite machines, the vacuum cleaner. Now I know this isn't as sexy as uh, doing some work on the Accord, but it's raining outside and I'm mixing it up today and this needs to get done and I uh, figured why not shoot a video for it. So we're going to be doing a belt change, some motor filters, and a HEPA filter, and just an overall cleaning maintenance. So uh, if you own a vacuum cleaner, I'm sure most of you do, maybe you'll find some of this stuff uh, useful. Without further ado, let's get going. Okay, tool list for today is extremely light. One, Phillips head screwdriver. Number two tip is what I used. A cutting instrument such as scissors or a razor blade. Uh, compressed air, or if you have a uh, compressor, that's even better. Because the more you, power you got, the better it'll the cleaner it'll get. Uh, a motor filter, a HEPA filter, a new belt. You can buy a kit of these with some extra bags off of Amazon. I'll throw the uh, part number up on the uh, on the screen there for you. And uh, that's it for today. So here it is. The Eureka 4870 is the model. I'm sure if you have a Eureka or one of these, it's all going to be the same more or less. So. Uh, We'll pop it off and take a look at it and you see if you can uh, use this at home. But um, basically all we're going to do is we're going to change the uh, HEPA filter, change the motor filter, and uh, just give it an overall cleaning and then we're going to change the belt. So to get the uh, HEPA filter off, it's real easy. You just pop that cover off here. And uh, yeah, this one's probably been on there for a little longer than it should be. So I think after a while this just gets plugged up and it's, it starts taking away from the performance of the vacuum. As you can see there's a little dust and stuff in there. I recently changed the bag but uh, we'll go ahead and pull it out. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's all dusty and dirty. So, um, And then here's the, uh, the cover for the uh, motor filter right there. So we're just going to take all this crap off and uh, I'm going to take it outside and blow it out with the uh, compressor. If you don't have a compressor at home, you can always use a, uh, you know, compressed air or something like that. But it does get dusty. I mean, that's its job. So we'll just try to get it clean and uh, get it back together. Uh, I think before we take it outside to blow it off, we're going to go ahead and pull the roller out too and uh, get everything out of the way. So the first thing is to do is to put it on this bare floor setting and then we'll flip it over and uh, pull some screws out. Okay, we got it flipped over here and basically we're just going to take these three screws out there, the three silver screws that are on the bottom and we'll pull this plate out. You can see that our roller's got some of my wife's hair and stuff in it so we'll clean that out too while we get it out. Screws are out now, so this just pops off, and uh, it's got a couple of tabs, so, so when you put it back in, you can line that back up. But um, pull that off to get that out of the way, and I think this should just pull off from this side, pull out, and then we can just slip the old belt off. And yeah, it's pretty nasty. Pull the old belt out. All right, we're gonna take it outside and blow it out. Alright, we've got our uh, trusty air compressor all, you know, full. If you don't, just grab some compressed air or whatever. Um, you might want to uh, cover up your nose or whatever like that, if you, especially if you live in the state of California, because apparently the dust in California is very, you know, cancer-causing and all that. So, if you live in Cal California, special warning to you. The rest, you know, the other 49 states, you might be all right, but uh, we're just gonna blow it out. Okay, I think we got most of the dust out. Um, if you really want to get involved, you could probably start pulling those tubes apart, but I just shot some air through it, and I think they're, they're, they look pretty clear. The only other thing I was going to do here is uh, on this extension thing, somehow through the test of time, 
we've gotten a little crack here so when you put stuff on there there's probably a little bit of leak so we're just going to do a little uh, man club sawing and uh, take care of that hacksaw should do the job we'll just uh, slowly get something started here and then burn through it Just get some uh, sandpaper and uh, clean up that rough edge, and it'll be good as new. Look at that. I'm, I'm adding years of use on there, so it looks like it's been really been used a lot. Which it has. I think I bought this thing in 2006. So. Okay, so over time, we get stuff trapped in here. It's my wife's hair, apparently. And uh, that's just uh, going to make this thing uh, get out of balance. So basically, we need to get it out of there. You can use scissors or whatever. I have a little razor blade here. Just don't cut yourself. Don't hurt yourself. And uh, get rid of all this uh, extra hair and everything. Clean, clean this thing up as best you can. And uh, we'll put it all back together. Here's what all was hunked on there, and uh, it's looking pretty good. So if these if you use yours a lot, we we have mostly hard floors, but a couple of carpets. If you if you use these a lot and you start to get wear down, these aren't that much. Just go ahead and get you a new one. But uh, I think we're good to go. With this guy, I'll just clean him up and put him back in. All right, everything's cleaned up now. Back inside, um, we're just gonna take our new belt, which looks a lot nicer than the old one, and. Uh, Hook it around the motor shaft a little bit tricky, a little bit tightness, but not bad. And then uh, put the belt over this guy. I think it just sits right there. And uh, pop that side in. It's really, it's just like a big nut in so it just kind of pops right in there and so you can give it a little turn to see that it's all everything's lined up again and then we grab our little guy here and like I said before I don't know if you can see it but there's there's a couple of tabs here and they line up down here on the bottom and you just rock that guy up and then we put our screws back in. Exciting stuff. We're using a hand screwdriver. We don't want to use power tools on this. You know, it's it's tempting. This is just screwing into plastic, and we if we over tor torque it, we will it will be stripped forever. So that's that on that side. That's looking a lot cleaner than before. Around here. We'll start putting this uh, side back together. Okay, so we're going to work our way from the bottom up, putting everything back together. This is our old filter. We got a new one. Yeah, this guy was ready to uh, get replaced. So basically, that just kind of fits in there like so. And there's this little edge piece here. It fits in and just just like that that's sealed up next is the uh, filter for the motor um, looks like this uh, it's got to fit over these guys here so if you just kind of pull on it a little bit it'll reveal where the little slots are so you just stick that guy like so and then don't forget to put in your little trap to hold it in place. Um, after that, I'm going to reinstall the bag that I had before, which is real easy to do, which inspired me to do this whole thing anyway when I took this apart to change that. And then 
and that is what they call that. So we made a little bit of a mess in here while we're doing this, but the beauty of it is that's what this guy does, cleans it up. So we'll just vacuum this stuff up, and uh, and uh, we're done in time to watch NFL football this fine rainy Sunday. Okay, so the ultimate test is uh, plugging it in and turning it on. Look at that. Looks good. So we'll just clean up. another episode of Man Club. It was a rainy day chore that I had to do. I decided what the hell, bust out the uh, camera and do something different for a change. So we basically tuned up the vacuum cleaner. And I'm not just saying this because I did it. Probably more because I hadn't done it in so long. Uh, it, it, it does feel like the suction is a lot better. And uh, well, we got clean filters all the way around. Uh, fairly fresh bag. I just changed that. A new belt. And the, uh, the brushes are clean. So everything's you know, as, as good as it's going to get. So I, I think it's really seems to be performing a lot better than it was before. So I know I made my wife happy today and a happy wife is a happy life. With that bit of advice, I bid you adieu. Until next time, keep them hanging.